What's up you guys, welcome back to the vlog. We got the car started finally. Super happy about that, man. She's here now. Our next step in this build is installing the 2000cc injectors, which are right here. We gotta cut the old ones, put new pigtails, add some spacers to the rail, and install these 2000ccs from FID, Fuel Injector Development. So, it shouldn't be too hard. All we gotta do is just um, maybe remove the intake manifold. Um, but I'm gonna try and squeeze it in there and remove it. It's a mess, I know. I gotta get all that stuff fixed. But uh, first things first is we're gonna remove all these pigtails from one and six. And we're gonna chop them up because we gotta install the new uh, pigtails. That's the easy part. The hard part is I think swapping out the injectors, but let's do it. a little bit so I can reach the bolts at the bottom of the rail but uh, as of now I think I should be able to get to them so let's give it a go now we're good to go the injectors are plugged in I'm gonna take a little time and tuck these wires in so it doesn't look as bad and uh, yeah let's see how it comes out all right, so we clean up the wiring a little bit. Not too bad. I'm no expert, but it looks better than it did before. So now we're just gonna put on the intake manifold and uh, should be done, so. What's up, you guys? Welcome back. It's a fresh day, it's Saturday. Um, as you can tell, we did manage to get the injectors installed, the intake manifold back on. We, I pressurized the system and we have no leaks, so that's good, perfect. Um, we got some calibrations back from uh, Ian, from Ben Calibration. And we're at the stages of actually hitting boost. So he wants me to do a 2,000 to 7,000 RPM pull. I'll have a video of that a little a little later. I can't do the in cabin stuff just because my GoPro's dead. I can't, um, and I don't have a mount for the windshield, so I can't really record anything inside the car yet. I ordered something on, on Amazon. Should be here maybe I think tomorrow. So um, yeah. So what we're gonna do today is uh, fire it up, load, load up the calibration, and go do a couple pulls, and I think call it a day. So we'll see how it goes from there. So all right, let's get to it. This thing sounds amazing. I love it. So we're just gonna let it warm up. Let's get to it. We gotta take a break away from the Z because mama, mama got a flat. Right, son? Yeah. Boy, do you know what you're doing? Mm -hmm. Yeah, here, why don't you use a gun? Use a yellow gun. This is funner. Funner. It's not a word, but no, and this is not fun. We gotta knock this out so we can go back working on a Z, boy. Come on. Yeah. There we go. Now we're talking. Hold it, hold it good, dude. It's gonna snap your arm off. All right, put more, yep, go ahead. All right, do the next one. Yeah, mama's tire is gonna fly off with you working on it. <laughs> yeah, I'll double check it. Good job, dude. Oh, they're all good? Okay, cool. High five. All right. All right, before we get out to uh, do some remote tunes, we are, Gonna watch this thing because it, it it's disgusting. We <laughs> it's been what Oski? It's been a good five, six months since we last washed it. So what do you say we wash this son? Do you wanna wash it or not? Car looks super good. Loving this, man. It's been a good, what, five, six months since the last time I washed it? But uh, 
Got some emails from our tuner, from Ian, so we're gonna upload them. We're gonna get started and show you guys what's up, so let's do it. All right, so we've been doing some logs with Ian. I'm not gonna, I don't wanna document every single, every single tune because that's kind of redundant. It's not that interesting, but uh, right now we're at the point where he wants us to do a log from 2,000 to 7,000 RPM. So that's what we're gonna do right now. We're gonna upload the file and uh, go from there. Show you guys what that looks like. Ignition on, make sure the ECU connects. All right. So we're live, we're gonna go to import calibration. I already downloaded the file, so we go to downloads. Dominguez 9 is the last one, there you go. Calibration, and once this is good, we're gonna fire it up and go do a rip. There you go, that's good. Now we gotta shut it off. Reset this, uh, the stepper motor and the ECU and all that junk. Okay, easy use off. And we should be good to go. Let's fire this girl up. Since I don't have my GoPro working, I'm gonna have my wife. She's gonna record me doing a two to 7,000 RPM pull. So we're gonna do it coming from this way, going down that way for Ian. So let's get to it. What's up, you guys? That was sick. I had a ton of fun out there, man. The car hitting boost. It's only hitting 15 pounds right now, and it feels beautiful, like, dude, I can't even explain it. Like, it sounds beautiful, it feels good, and uh, we have no issues right now, knock on wood. Um, so everything is pretty much, at this point, we're good. We, our next step with Ian is doing a flex fuel. So we're gonna start pumping E85. That's when the real power comes in, and Ian recommended us to go to a dyno to get that um, tune there, which I 100% agree. I don't wanna be hitting high, high horsepower, high boost, on his little chassis on the streets yet until I get comfortable with it. So um, we're gonna go from there. So once we get to that step, I'll record everything. I'll take you guys with us and uh, that'll be super fun. So as of now, I think we're pretty much done. Um, everything on the car is, is drivable. So I'm gonna enjoy it for the weekend and maybe make a couple videos for you guys. We'll see how it goes. But thank you guys for checking out the vlog. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I really appreciate it. It means the world to me. Hope you guys have a good weekend. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for the next vlog. We're gonna have a ton of fun. So, all right guys, peace out.